Hey everyone, welcome back to the Freddy Frags channel. Today I'm bringing you my full review on Beach Up Man by Hot So if you haven't already seen my first impressions on this scent, I'll leave the link somewhere in the in this screen. Just click it, go check it out so you can see the full presentation. For now, I'm just gonna give you a quick glimpse at the box. Uh, very nice uh, cardboard presentation. Our Marsh doesn't really skip out on their presentation. But I will show you the bottle up close. Uh, very nice bottle. I I like Our Marsh's presentation more than I actually like most of their scents, but they are a great house. So I think they balance each other, you know, the full package, they do, they do have that. And um, before we even get started with my thoughts, let me give you the notes. And at the top we have orange, orange blossom, mint, and galbanum. In the heart we have vetiver, moss, and ivy. And in the base we have patchouli, myrrh, and dry woods. As I stated in the first impressions, uh, when I first sprayed on myself, I do get the mint, the orange blossom, and I get vetiver. That's basically the opening to me of my skin. I think it's very interesting. Doesn't blow me the way as, as far as I think it smells good, but it is very interesting and is intriguing to me. My wife also liked the opening. Uh, my first full wearing was on July 4th. Uh, and right before we went to see the fireworks, we went out to dinner and my wife leans over to me because we were with a couple couples, a couple of couples. And she goes, what are you wearing? I don't like that scent. I was like, this is the one that you just complimented me on earlier. So just with that being said, she liked the opening, but not the dry down. I thought the opening was okay, interesting, but I did enjoy the dry down. What does that say? Not, not much. It just says that everyone has their own opinion and everyone's entitled to that. Now, I do think that this will intrigue both the enthusiast of fragrances and the one and the guys that just are the women, the people that wear it just for fun or just want to smell good. I think it's going to catch both because this is like to me, it's a 50 50 between acceptable or crowd-pleasing and artistic. It's right in the middle. It's very complex in my opinion. It changes multiple times. Not that you get some notes really go away, because to me, the notes play throughout and they jump in and out. Like I said, mo the mint stays for the duration of it, but it's stronger in the beginning and it starts to dry down towards the end. I do, I do get where the name is coming from as Beach Hut Man, as in the beginning when I, I smelled it, it kind of threw me off. I was like, this has nothing to do with the beach. It kind of like, I guess I was expecting something else, so it kind of threw me off. But it does smell like if you had a cabin that was sitting by a lake or a beach, and it was like you have some of that moist wood with the moss, uh, and you have greenery because it is a very green scent. I do get the orange blossom, like, like I said, the mint. And it, it, in the beginning, it has a clean, little bit of a clean soapy type vibe. Like if you were washing your hands out in this cabin type feel, but that goes away. It doesn't stay with any, it doesn't smell like soap, but it just, it has like a clean thing to it that I can't explain. But as it wears, it gets a little bit even more complex and it gets a little bit warmer. Um, that's the best way I could, it's just warmer and more, I would say this is great for fall. I think you can wear this all year round, but the best part of the year to wear this would be the fall. I think it'll shine in that breeze and that weather, which I haven't got to wear it there yet. This is just me assuming worn it out in the summer and it worked it didn't overpower anyone but i think it'll work best in the fall as far as what i get from the scent as far as far as performance now i get i would assume 18 plus hours i put it on at noon uh, july 4th and i came home around midnight one o'clock in the morning and it was still 
projecting. Not a big bubble. The whole time it never took off my skin like you, somebody can smell me in the other room. But I had a nice bubble around me the whole time. And when I got home, it was still there. The shirt that I was wearing that day actually smelled like it for a week. It may still smell like it. I'm not sure. I think I washed it. So I didn't sniff it when I took it out the wash. But with that being said, if this performs very well, I think it is worth the money. If you're looking for something that is both crowd, please, crowd pleasing and artistic, I think this is the way to go. If you are looking to purchase this, you can go to maxaroma.com. I have the link down below. Feel free to check them out. As of shooting this video, they had the best prices on the internet as from what I saw today. Um, I'm not sure if that'll change. Feel free to check them out. If you feel like shopping and going and you know purchasing through them, feel free. If not, it's all the same. I'm just giving you, you know, they were gracious enough to to hook hook me up with the bottle so I figured I'll pass along a link down below for you guys to check it out but like I said either way they had the best prices today and I, I messed with them because you know they, they do have good prices and all their stuff is legit from what I've shown so far I vouch for them please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe hit the notification bell for future content Please go to the Facebook groups and check out my new Facebook group for my partner in crime, Gary, No Nonsense. We had the Fragaholics. We launched a new Facebook group. We also launched a new IG account under the same name, Fragaholics. Don't forget to check out Freddy Frags on Instagram as well. Peace and stay blessed, Fragaholics.